Parents of TikTok, what is the creepiest thing your kid... Okay, story time. My oldest child is named after my older brother who passed away before she was ever born. Like most people who have deceased relatives, I have pictures of him in my house. She has asked about him. Who is that? Why have I never met him? We explained to her that that was her uncle who passed away before she was ever born, and that's who she's named after. We then went to my mom's house. She saw pictures of him at my mom's house. She pointed to him and said, hey, Yaya, that's me when I was a boy. We stopped her and we're like, no, 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 that's who you're named after. That's not you. She then fought us and said, no, that's me when I was a boy. I was a boy. I grew up. I got hit by a car. I died. I then was reborn under mom. I never told her how he died, but she's right. That is how he passed. What is the creepiest thing your kid ever said? When my daughter was three, she came in my room in the middle of the night, woke me up and said, Mommy, can you please get the little girl out of my room? And I'm a half, I'm a sleeping. I'm like, well, little girl, she's like the little girl. She's jumping on my bed. She wants to play with me. She won't get out of my room. I'm like, oh, just sleep with me. So she slept with me. The next day, I didn't think anything of it. Then she comes to me and says, I'm so sick of daddy moving my toys around in my dollhouse. He comes in my room and plays with my dollhouse and moves them all around. I'm like, I highly doubt your father's doing that. He probably banged into it by accident, making your bed or something. Um, This went on for pretty much every morning. Somebody's rearranging my dollhouse. Didn't think anything of it at all. The only reason I thought of it was because one night me and my husband come in from outside and our oldest daughter comes and says, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, mom, dad, the freakiest thing just happened. And we're like, what? And she's like, I came downstairs and Jen was in the kitchen. And then I see her walk by. So I walk to follow her in her room to see if she's okay. And I see her in her bed sleeping, but she was just walking. So I wanted to make sure that she wasn't tricking me. So, you know, I tried to wake her up, but she was sleeping. She wasn't joking. I think I saw a ghost. And I'm like, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Jennifer said there was a little girl in her room. I wonder, you know. So the next day I say to Jennifer, Jennifer, what does the little girl look like? And she said, she has long blonde hair, blue eyes, and she's white. She looks like me. Okay, because my daughter had long blonde hair, blue eyes. And I said, is she your age? And she said, no, she's younger than me. She's probably two or three. Now my daughter was four maybe four and a half. Um, so I'm like, holy crap. So, you know, I'm on the phone with my mom and my sisters and I'm like, I'm freaking out. And I'm like, what the hell do I do? You know, uh." and my sister reminds me, I trash picked that damn dollhouse, like right when this whole thing started going, but you don't notice little things, right? I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I brought a spirit into my house by trash picking this like a like handmade built dollhouse I thought was beautiful like oh so any and that's the dollhouse the furniture was being arranged in her furniture didn't come with furniture I just trash picked the dollhouse anyway long story short we ended up burning the dollhouse in the fire pit to try to get rid of the spirit And then maybe six months later, my daughter comes to me and says, oh my gosh, mom, we burned that little girl's dollhouse. And then she burned our house down because we were living in a hotel because our whole entire house burned down. Coincidence or creepy, creepy, crawly? I have no idea. Parents of TikTok, what is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you? One of the creepiest things that my kid has ever said to me, the youngest one is typically the most creepy one. Um, I think at the time he was like four and he's telling the story of how he came from heaven to earth and the fact that he got to see his life as it unfolded or before it unfolded in heaven, right? So he's telling the story. He's talking about all of us at first and then he goes on. He goes into his adulthood telling me what's going to happen. He's talking about his big sister, his big brother, his daddy. And then I realized like, wait a minute. He ain't mentioned me in a minute. So I asked him, like, hey, what about me? And he says, oh, you die um, about the time I stop growing. So I'm like, wait, what? He goes, yeah, like, you didn't rest enough. You didn't eat good enough. And so, yeah, you died. So don't worry, though. We'll remember you. But anyway, and then he keeps talking like nothing happened. Help me. Parents of TikTok. What is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you? We had some friends buy an old farmhouse. 
their kid was two, maybe three at the time. And he had a really hard time sleeping in his new room. And he would always end up in his parents' room at night. We went to visit. When we got back in the car, my youngest, who was three or four at the time, said, Mommy, I don't want to come back. The woman with the red eyes is really scary. What woman with the red eyes? The woman with the red eyes sitting in the kid's bed, pointing, saying they wanted to go home. I called my friend and I said, I know why your kid doesn't want to sleep in their room. So many stories. What is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you? Okay, so for those of you who know or don't know, we live in a very old house. We live in a house that was built in 1919. So very old. I can tell you about a few occasions. One's happened with my daughter and one's happened with my son. And my son is six years old. So it actually just happened. Um, so we were getting ready for bed and my son comes downstairs and he, he goes, hey mom, um, there's somebody standing in our bedroom. And I go, what do you mean? And he's talking about my room. And he goes, yeah, it's like a tall guy, but he doesn't look like a person. He looks like a shadow, but not on the wall. When I tell you, I pray to Jesus real quick. Oh yeah, I got more. It's spooky time. What is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you? So I was pregnant and my daughter said, so since you lost this baby, are we gonna get another baby? And I just was talking on the phone to my friend. I'm like, creepy, did you hear what my kid just said? And she's like, that is so weird. Didn't really think too much of it. I just thought it was a creepy thing little kids say. But then the next day we were at Aldi's and I said, hey, isn't this fun? Soon you're gonna have a little brother or sister to sit beside you in the cart because it's like a double seat for children. And she said, oh, so you're gonna get another baby since you lost this baby? And um, my husband heard it that time, and we just, like, changed the subject, um, but it creeped me out because she said it twice, and we actually found out that that was, like, on a Sunday, and we found out on Monday that we did lose our baby. So now she says anything like, hey, be careful out driving. I don't want you to get in a wreck. I feel like I'm going to die because she was right one time. Parents of TikTok, what is the creepiest thing your kid... So it's August 5th, the date of my second son's fifth birthday, 2017. We're sitting at the doctor for his five-year-old checkup with him and my then one-year-old son. A lady comes in with a set of twins and a double stroller. So my five-year-old looks at me straight face. Hey, mom, you need a double stroller. What do I need a double stroller for? You're five. You can walk. Canaan's one. He has a stroller. He says, not for me and Canaan, for Canaan and the new baby. Just like that. New baby? Ain't no new baby. What the hell are you talking about? I immediately leave the doctor's office and go straight to Dollar General. Buy a pregnancy test. Piss on the stick. Positive as hell. How the hell do creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you my daughter told me recently that she would watch me sleep when I was a kid because she was a ghost and when I got older and of age God made her a real person parents of TikTok what is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you what the fuck that was a creepy ass story but no, I got a creepier story. Let me tell y'all, my son was about like three, going on four and whatever, right? So I'm cleaning the house. I put him to bed. I have the night light on. And I'm like, go to bed or whatever. So I'm outside cleaning up, doing my thing. Next thing I know, he keep getting up, fucking with me and shit. Like, oh, mommy, I'm scared. Ah, ah, ah. So I'm like, what you scared of, boy? Like, chill. I'm trying to clean up. Go to bed. Like, he like, oh, can you come lay down with me type shit? So I'm like, fuck. So I'm like, I bet. I know he going to go to sleep like in three to five minutes if I go in there and lay down with him, right? wrong nigga so i get in the room night light on we laying down he starts acting weird and shit and when i say weird he's like covering his face he keep pulling the cover up putting it over his face he doing like this he like 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 keep hiding and shit 
I'm on my phone, but I'm noticing this from my peripheral. So I'm like, boy, what's going with you? So he like, yo, ma, come under the covers. I'm like, boy, it's scorching here. I'm not getting under them covers. He like, can you cut on the light? I'm like, boy, the light already. I so part two. I so boom. He like, can you cut on the light? So I'm like, boy, for what? We already got the night light on. Like, we don't need the light on. But I just cut the light on anyway. I cut on the light. He's still doing the weird shit. He like, could we get under the covers? I'm like, get under the covers for what? You just told me to cut on the light. You still scared, boy? The fuck? I'm in my phone, minding my business. He asks me again. I goes under the covers now because I'm like, you know what? what the fuck? So I get under there. I'm like, look, you feel better now? Y'all, this little boy said to me, who's that man on the ceiling? The fuck you mean with that man on the ceiling, boy? What? And y'all, it's not like he said next to me, behind me, in front of me. You said on the ceiling, boy. Like anything on the ceiling is a fucking demon. Now, I watch a lot of movies. And I know in the movies when you be scared and shit, or you try to talk and like ask the shit questions, or you act scared, that's when the shit really start fucking with you. And I ain't want my son to know I'm a pussy. So my first instinct is, ask him what the fuck the shit look like. But no, my heart beating mad fast and I'm mad scared. I'm under the covers, I'm like, because when somebody say some shit like that, like, you know how your ears get deaf and your heart beating fast, like it's just pounding? That's what the fuck happened. That shit just like, choo, choo, choo. Now my ass still under the covers, because I'm not coming back out. I should have been with under the covers. <laughs> so he looks at me, he's like, it's scary, right? I'm ignoring him, because I'm still mad scared. He was like, he looks scary, right? Fuck, nigga, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I'm glad I can't see that shit. So then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a run for it. But I thought, I'm like, hmm, how the hell I'm going to run in and grab my son at the same time? Ain't going to work. One of us going to get caught. So I laid there. I come from under the cover. Then I said, Kaden, nobody's on the ceiling because I'm trying to act tough, but I'm shook. Like, shook, shook. Soon as I said that, boy, the ceiling fan just like, Phew. Like, did like that. Real hard and fast. Remember in the other video, I told y'all I was scorching there. That's why I didn't want to get under the cover. So where the fuck did that wind come from? And to think about it, like all the movies I watched and I saw like the people doing dumb shit and I'm like, oh, I would never do that. Like if that was me, no, nigga. Because when you scared, like all that shit that you would do goes out the fucking window. Dead ass. So I laid there mad shook because now the ceiling fan just moved. I'm back in the... <laughs> Sorry, a motherfucking bug just dropped on me. And the whole time I'm just thinking, I'm like, damn, son, like if I run, that shit probably going to grab me or close the door in my face type shit. So I'm just scared. I just laid back. I'm back under the covers with my son. Then he like, oh, he's so big, right? Fuck, nigga, he big. So now I'm like, what the fuck am I about to do? Like, if I get up, that shit gonna grab me by the back of my head, pull me the fuck back. Like, I, I watch a lot of shit, obviously. So I had my phone, and I did what anybody else would have did. Oh, y'all see the bro. I called my mama. What is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you? Now, this is around the time my son was maybe four years old. He got a Lego set, one of those thick, blocky Lego sets for his birthday. He loves building with Legos. So he calls me into his room one day and he's like, Mommy, Mommy, look what I made. I walked in and when I say I was in complete shock, I was completely shocked. Now, I grew up in the church, raised in the church. It's insane how much church, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every dog on day. Bible study and some other stuff. Why I look down and this kid done constructed what looks like the old church I went to out of Legos. When I asked him what it was, he told me, it's the church that grandpa told me you used to go to when you were a kid. My father passed away when I was 16 years old. He was an Air Force sergeant. And he used to do all the construction and stuff for our church. He taught me how to take apart a refrigerator and put it back together. Creeped out. Parents of TikTok, what is the creepiest thing your kid... I'm not a mom, but I am a tia of TikTok. When my nephew was three, he kept talking about seeing angels. One day I saw him pointing at a crow and he was like, look, an angel. And I was telling my sister, bro, we were over here really thinking he was seeing angels and they were fucking birds. <laughs> my sister was like, no, you need to ask him about the angels. So one day we're in the car and I was like, hey, buddy, tell me about the angels. What do they look like? Do they have like wings with feathers? And he said, yes. And I said, does it have a beak? He said, no, those are birds. They have human faces and bodies and black wings like birds. And I said, oh, well, they're good angels, right? And he said, no, but it's okay because the light makes it go away. And I said, the sunlight? And he said, no, the light that, that opens up in the ceiling, when it shines on them, they go away. And it's beautiful up there. And I said, beautiful up where? He said, when it opens up, there's a bunch of clouds and it's so beautiful up there, Tia Mimi. Parents of TikTok, 
What is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you? This trend belongs to my aunt, but she's not on TikTok, so here you go. My mom and I were moving into a new house, so my aunt and my cousin came to help us. After making a few trips inside, my six-year-old cousin takes a seat on a stump in the front yard. He then turns and looks at the three of us out of the blue and says this place was built on an Indian burial ground. Once he saw the looks of what the fu set into all three of our faces, he then began to hysterically cry and ran to my aunt. Looking back, we really should have loaded our shit back up and left. For the following 12 months, my sister was thrown down the stairs. I had a very large something get in my bed with me. I had a big green head floating outside my window. The fabric non-electrical angel on our Christmas tree caught fire. We had a random message pop up on our answering machine of a mother beating her daughter with no missed calls on any of the caller IDs. Long story short, we ended up going to the local library and finding out it was built on a burial ground. What is the creepiest thing your child has ever said to you? Well, she's definitely said a few things, but the one that I can't get over is when she came to me really confused and was like, Mommy, what did my name used to be? I said, well, your name's always been Aspen. She goes, no, like a long time ago. I was like, well, even when you were a baby, your name has always been Aspen. She goes, no, I mean when I was older, you know? And then she starts to describe her being older because obviously I'm confused. She's like, when I had gray hair, you know, when I was older, when I used to live in the woods. She's like, you know, remember when I used to make potions? Okay, my four-year-old does not know what potions is. She's never seen Harry Potter. She has no idea about, like, witchcraft or anything. My four-year-old said potions when she used to make potions in the woods when she had gray hair. I'm like, baby, I, I don't know what you're talking about. She goes, remember when those people on horses would come to me and they would have to find me so I can make the death potions for the king? What? I'm just sitting there like, okay. And she was, she's very aggravated. Till, still to this day, she is very aggravated that I don't know what her name used to be because she tells me often that she really liked that name, but she can't remember what it is. Also, she's told me on a separate occasion that my uh, baby, her sister, her younger sister, that they used to be sisters, um, but they didn't like each other back then. But now she's happy that she's her sister again because now she likes her this time. I don't know. What is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you? This one would not be my kid. This would be some random child in, it was a Sears, uh, some sort of department store. Anyway, we'll just say Sears for the sake of the story. Anyway, so this little girl runs up to me and gives me a great big hug. And she says, Daddy, I missed you. And there's a mom and a dad. And they're both looking at me and looking at each other, looking at the kid. And the mom says, honey, that's your daddy. She says, no, he was my daddy before. In my last life, before you were my mommy, he was my daddy. And he says, then I'm like, uh, uh, the fuck? And she goes, okay, daddy, I gotta go now. I love you, bye. And I'm like, bye, kid. That memory still bothers me. It's of TikTok. What is the creepiest thing your kid has ever said to you? So once when my son was like three, I was in bed and he opened the door and it was just like, ah! the door opened, light came in. I sat up like shocked. I was like, who's that? Knowing it was him. And he looked at me like this and just went, don't worry, mummy. I'm not here to kill you. I just wanted a hug. I shit my pants. Opinion you have that might piss some people off. If you send me a picture of your junk and you're holding it between these two fingers and pressing down like this, that means your junk is small. I said what I said.